Hey guys, it's Emily and today I am starting a new reading vlog. So because of coronavirus, I am stuck at home and I have been reading a lot more. And so I thought I would vlog my experience reading The Seven Husbands of Helen Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I am absolutely terrified of starting this book because it is so hyped. It is probably the most hyped book on booktube and everyone loves it. Like no matter what genre they typically read, everyone has loved this book. And so as you can imagine, the expectations are really high and I'm kind of afraid. I, I don't really know. I I, I want to read this really badly but I'm so afraid that I'm not gonna love it as much as everyone else does but today is a day that we're finally starting this book. So in this book we're following Evelyn Hugo and Evelyn is an old Hollywood star who has always kept her life sort of a secret but one day she invites this journalist who no one really knows about and she asks her to write her life story. For the very first time she's gonna open up about her life and about her seven husbands. I am really excited about this because this premise sounds like something I'm really gonna enjoy. So right now it is about 9 30 and I am going to hop on a video call with the rest of my team and after that we can start reading. Hello everyone so it is a little bit later I just hopped off the conference call and I did a little bit of work but right now I am in a mood to get some reading done so I'm finally gonna start reading Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I'm about to put on an ASMR room while I read. This has really been helping me lately putting on like an ambiance or like more like ASMR stuff in the background. It really helps me concentrate on my books. <laughs> everyone it is the next day I know I look like trash we'll get into that in a second but uh, last night I made it to page 57 of the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo so I read about her first husband and I have thoughts so far I I'm very intrigued by the premise and just the story as a whole. Like I feel like Evelyn has a lot to tell us and I'm very excited to see where this will go. But also Evelyn is not a really nice person. Like you can get that already from the first couple of chapters that I've read. She's not great. She's done some pretty messed up things and some pretty messed up things have already happened. I was kind of blown away because I wasn't expecting it to be so crude. But at the same time, I feel like it's important that we talk about those things. So far, really intrigued, really love the writing style. I was a little bit confused by how the narration like the narrator changes like sometimes it's pulled from Evelyn's point of view and sometimes it's Monique the journalist so it really depends as for the rest I'm really enjoying it so far I'm hoping to make quite a bit of progress with this today but I wanted to talk a little bit about coronavirus and I don't necessarily want to like spend a lot of time talking about it because I'm trying to distance myself from it I feel like I've been hearing and talking about it a lot lately and it's been stressing me out to be honest and I want this platform to be fun and not necessarily focused on whatever is going on in the news but at the same time I feel like I cannot really ignore it and I wanted to touch upon just how I've been feeling because it's my third day working from home I've been feeling weird like honestly I feel stuck and I know I'm not stuck at home but I've been slowly losing my mind it's only day three I just don't feel so great I don't like this and normally I'm a home buddy I love staying home I love being at home but knowing that I'm actually required to stay home changes the game I don't know why I'm not loving it like I've been in my pajama slash sweatshirt whatever for the past two days which probably doesn't help I feel like really stuck here and that's why today I'm gonna try to change locations and like do different things because because I feel very stuck and I just am not loving it. Like I'm in my room a lot. Like I spent pretty much the entire 24 hours and I'm home in my room except for like lunch, dinner, and like whenever I'm snacking. So I have to get out then, but also like when I'm showering or just like going to the bathroom in general, like those are times where I get out of my room. But overall, I spend a lot of time in my room, especially because other members of my family are also stuck at home. And like common areas are just not the best for me, like to work or read or do whatever. So I spend a lot of time in my room. I haven't been feeling great, but hopefully reading or just like doing other things will help. But yeah, I'm feeling stuck. And I just want you guys to know that you're not alone if you're feeling the same. I feel like the reason why I'm not feeling so great is because I look like this. Like I've been in my pajamas for two days straight and like I have showered but I didn't really get dressed the past two days. Now I think I'm gonna go for a workout at home because uh, gyms are closed and I was gonna go for a walk but it's kind of cold outside and tomorrow's supposed to be warmer so I think I'll just do like a at home workout, probably like an arm workout or something and then take a shower, wash my hair because yeah it's a mess and then we'll get back to reading. Hello Marky! She was all underneath the blanket before before 
but now she's come out to say hello. She's so cute and sleepy. Oh. <laughs> Sleep tight. She's hiding again. Look. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Okay, so I just finished my workout, as you saw, and I want to show you guys this because I think this is a big reason why I'm feeling so stuck and like such a potato. Look at my room. It is such a mess. Okay, I have to like put that back upstairs because it just worked out. But like, this is such a mess. I've been spending time in bed and like my room is a mess. I need to organize this. My shelves are a mess too. I really want to organize them soon. And yeah, I feel like I need to tidy up a little bit because it is such a mess and I cannot live in this area. Hello guys. So it is now much later. As you can tell, it is dark outside and I'm currently on page 147 of the seven husbands of F. M. Hugo. So I've just finished reading about husband number two and my opinion about this book has drastically changed when i last updated you guys i wasn't feeling super invested in the story like i was intrigued definitely but i wasn't feeling invested like i didn't really care that much about the characters so far i just didn't connect with anyone really but things have taken a turn i am now absolutely loving this i really love all of the characters they're flawed they're not perfect definitely not but i do really enjoy reading about them and I love reading about the relationships in this book. It's not only about the marriages of Helen Hugo, it's also about the different relationships she has with other people and I'm very much enjoying that. I feel like they're very well developed. All the characters are super fleshed out and this just feels so real. I feel like I'm reading about true people, like actual real people, but I know this is fictional and it feels so weird because as I said, I feel like I'm reading about things that have happened in the past but this is just a story and that's all props to Taylor Jenkins Reid. She's done an incredible job so far. The writing is amazing and I'm just really enjoying the story. Like honestly, the old era of like old Hollywood, I'm here for it. I am loving it. It is so good. The only thing that I'm not loving so much about this book so far is all of the little interactions between Monique and Evelyn. I feel like they really take me out of the story and uh, they bring me back to the present, which I guess is the point. But at the same time, I kind of wish I was only reading from Evelyn's point of view. However, However, I do see how they're important to the development of the story like at first I was like okay can we move on but she's shed some light like Evelyn in the present I guess has shed some light on some of the events that happened in the past and having her tell her story and then explaining to us like how she felt or what really happened in the present I feel like that brings something else to the story and it really brings things to the next level and I understand that it's just that I don't care so much about Monique and like her life I guess maybe eventually it'll tie in more but so far I'm just like can we just get back to Evelyn like this is the interesting part of the story I don't really care so much about Monique yeah this is the only like not so great thing about the book so far but even those parts are kind of short anyway so like I don't mind that much it's just that I would much rather read only about Evelyn so um I think right now I'm just gonna continue reading because I'm very much enjoying the book and I'm gonna read about husband number three so let's do it guys it is the next day i am currently on page 223 of the seven husbands of evelyn hugo i've read about husband number three and four well three and four and oh my god this last line that i just read just like blew me away and i'm just so hooked i have to read it to you guys it says i have no idea that in less than a week evelyn hugo will finish her story and i'll find out what this has been all about and i will hate her so much that i'll be truly afraid i might kill her like, excuse me, I am so eager to know, like, the ending now? I'm hooked. Yesterday, I wanted to continue reading before I went to bed, but I knew that I would have to continue this vlog if I were to continue reading. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to take a break and I'm going to start something new because I truly want to vlog my experience. And, like, I just didn't feel like vlogging, even though I really felt like reading Seven Husbands. So I was trying to pick up something. But I kept thinking about the Seven Husbands of Alvin Hugo. So, so far, I can really tell that this is a great book. Like, I really understand what the hype is all about. I'm very excited to see where this is going as i said I'm really hooked i'm blown away by this book so far i so understand why people love it i am curious to see where this will go and how this will end and hopefully i won't be disappointed by that but yeah i'm just like 
wow so far it is brilliant i love it so much all right so i am currently on page 291 i just finished reading about husband at number five and i'm really starting to understand evelyn as a character more especially with this last section that i just read it spans over like I'd say 10 years maybe and we really start to understand Evelyn as a character her motivations who she is as a person she's a, such a complex character and I feel like in this part of her life we really explore everything that she has to offer and she has multiple facets and we really explore every single one of them in this new part I'm also starting to appreciate the chapters that are set in present time what I'm starting to understand is that I, I like the moments between Evelyn and Monique I feel like they really bring something else to the story and we really dive deeper into Evelyn's motivations and just we read really from her perspective like we really get to understand her more because she has this retrospective that she doesn't have while she's telling the story but I'm also not really enjoying the parts that are about Monique specifically like when she goes back home and she just talks to her family and her ex-husband and whatever I just don't get why we get that so far like I'm not in seeing how it serves the story but um i feel like we might be getting some of that later on in the book like we're nearing the end as you can tell there's not much left for me to read there's only this much so i'm almost done with it and i feel like i might understand why we were getting so much of monique towards the end i'm kind of perplexed by the turn that this has taken i wasn't expecting it to play out that way i guess and I like this it has surprised me so far and i am honestly really enjoying it and i can see this being a five stars i love this i really cannot stop thinking about it and i think that's a good thing so i think i'm gonna get back to reading it's about 7 p.m i probably will finish this tonight if i'm being completely honest um i have about 150 pages left to read so I think I can finish this book. Hello everyone. So it is the next day. It's Friday and I just got off work like literally two minutes ago and I wanted to continue reading Seven Husbands of Ellen Hugo because no, I didn't finish reading it last night. After I updated you like right after I like turned off my camera, I was like, you know what? I'm not in the mood to read this anymore so I just didn't read. I continued my rewatch of Sense8. I don't know if I talked about it but I started rewatching Sense8 which is one of my absolute favorite TV shows and I just, I love it. I'm almost done with it. I think I have like two or three more episodes of season two to watch and I love this show so much. I'm so sad that it got cancelled because it was so great. But anyway, so I'm gonna try to finish this tonight. I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna be able to finish it. I don't want to push myself to read this. I really want to savor it. I'm almost done with it though. Like I feel like if I pick it up again I will most likely finish it. No matter where you find yourself, no matter what kind of stuff is going on in your life, underneath it all, everything's actually all right. You're okay. You have more power than you like to give yourself credit for. And if you have something that's going on in your life right now, that's... Oh my god. Oh my god. I am gasping. I am screaming. I, wow. <laughs> okay, so I'm currently on page 359 and the plot twist, you guys. I never saw it coming. I am shook. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I'm like trying to process it and I'm like, what? <laughs> what is this? what even like this ending has been incredibly sad so far i'm not done with the book yet i have about 20 pages left to read but we just found out why evelyn basically chose monique like it's not been explained but like there was this big plot twist that you're like okay it makes sense why she would choose her out of everyone i'm shook <laughs> um wow okay so if you've read chapter 64 or page 359 you know what i'm talking about but wow wow <laughs> I honestly never saw it coming. I just, I gasped so loudly. I wish I would have been filming then because you guys would have seen my genuine reaction. But wow, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to finish this and I'll get back to you guys. But wow, <laughs> I, I have no words. Hey guys, so it's a little bit later and I have finished reading The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. And oh my God, wow, I'm blown away. This is such a masterpiece i'm speechless at the moment i feel like i'm not being coherent but this is definitely a five stars for me i can so understand why people love this book why it's so hyped on booktube i i'm trying to form coherent thoughts at the moment and it's not working really great but 
the complexity of the characters and the way the plot has been so well thought out like even the pieces that I didn't like before I completely understand their validity and like why they were so important like everything has been thoughtfully crafted in this masterpiece I can't believe how talented an author Taylor Jenkins Reid is I read other of her books before but none of them captured my attention the way this one has and this is definitely her best book so far like wow this is so unlike anything that I've ever read before and I love that about it I think it is one of my favorite books that I've read so far this year I am so glad I finally read it I'm just really mad at myself because I waited so long but I'm so happy that I finally read this because it is amazing and if you guys haven't read it yet or you've been putting it off like me because you thought that it was too hyped or that the it was probably not worth the hype like stop everything drop this and go read this book. It has everything that you could want in a book. It has intrigue, it has romance, it has amazing characters, beautiful writing, the setting is incredible. This is definitely a five stars for me as I said. I, I just love this. It really makes me want to read Daisy Jones and the Six which I also own so let me know if you guys would like to see a reading vlog for that one as well but wow I really enjoy this and I really recommend it if you guys have read it which would be surprising because I feel like everyone has read this already but if you haven't just do it. If you guys have read this, let me know in the comments down below what you thought about it. I would love to know. So I guess that's it for this video. I can't believe... Wow, I'm still like shocked. I'm still processing everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!